this video, we will talk about Wombat Dialer's new features, ranging from the enhanced real-time page to the new copy campaigns panel. This new version implements some major improvements to Wombat Dialer's functionalities. Together, we will take a look at how these features work to better understand how things have changed and to see the new Wombat Dialer in action. Let's start from the new copy campaign panel. This panel has been designed by our development team in order to allow users to create a new campaign based on an existing one. This is very time saving for normal users who often ignore the complexities behind creating a new campaign from scratch. By using this panel they can create brand new campaigns and run them directly in a matter of seconds. As we can see the panel is composed of three main sections. The first section, where you choose the template campaign, the name, email and the NIS of the new campaign. The second section, a list of all the available call lists that are linkable to your new campaign. And finally the third section, showing the selected call lists for your new campaign. As a default, the system will populate the third section with the same call lists that are linked to the template campaign. This section, however, is fully editable by using the control buttons located between the second and third section. From this panel, you can also create a new list based on a CSV file. When we're done setting up a new campaign, we can then save it without running it by clicking on the create button or run it directly by clicking on the create and run button. In this last case, the system will open the real time page automatically. At the first look, the new live page is very similar to the old one, apart from a few controls right above the calls data grid. This is because we strive to keep our data visualization as neat as possible to allow users to find the information they need efficiently. If we take a look to some of the new controls though, the changes start to become more evident. Let's have a look at the filters button. This button enables a filter menu that shows us all the running campaigns, the available trunks and the available endpoints. By selecting one or more of those filters, you can rule out from the call list all the entries that don't match your criteria. By clicking on a selected filter, you go back to the default option, Show All, that will accept all entries. Once you've selected all your options, you can make the panel disappear by clicking the Filters button once more. On our right, instead, we can see this button, Show Sparklines. If we click it, we can see a group of sparkline charts detailing the call traffic flow divided by campaign run. As you can see, if we hover with our mouse pointer above the sparkline, we can read how many calls were active at a particular moment. If a call belonging to a new campaign is detected, a new sparkline is created to keep track of that campaign progress. If the number of calls belonging to a particular campaign instead falls to zero, the corresponding sparkline is removed. We can make all the sparklines disappear by clicking on the Hide Sparklines button. Now, let's take a look at the Pause Campaign button. This button prompts a pop-up that allows the user to select multiple campaigns to be paused. This is especially useful if you want to pause all running campaigns in one simple instruction. Another news is that the CSV Loader tool has been modified by adding the following features. It can now be used to create new lists. This happens in the Campaign Edit panel with the New List button or in the Copy Campaigns panel where you can create new lists for the new campaign on the spot. There's the Fields Editor through which you can modify the structure of the CSV data by selecting the field that will represent the main number field. That is the number that will be called when campaigns implementing this list will run. You can also rename eventual fields or decide not to upload some of them in particular. The file review 
is where you can review the changes made in the fields editor panel and decide whether or not you're ready to upload a new list. This is all for this video. Keep following Lowways webpage for updates and news on our products. Thank you.